This was the second year the Bellevue Breakfast Rotary Club sponsored an adoption fair. We had 20 foster children and even more prospective families. We brought them together into a school gym for a fun event. The idea is to humanize the process for these prospective parents and adoptive children, a way for them to find each other, and it works. My dream is that all 20 children find permanent homes within the next few months. And we, we had that happen last year, and it, it can happen again. And one of the things that's important to know about kids who are available for adoption through the foster care system is that those kids have had a pretty significant history. And so each of the kids that were here today come with a unique set of challenges that make it more challenging to find them a family. But this is one step in a process of recruiting a family for our kids. It gives them the exposure to families so that they know what an adoptive family looks like. What, does, what is an adoptive family? Who are they? What do they look like? And so the kids have that opportunity, but it also allows the families the opportunity to see what does a kid who's available for adoption and foster care look like? It makes all of us real and human and puts a, a face and a name to those titles. Our kids are kids. They're real people. They have really, really scary stories. And on paper, those stories can, can make you question, can I do this? This kid's been through a lot. And then you meet that kid and what they look like and what real life experience is and it really makes them kids. They like to, you know, decorate cupcakes just like any other kid and they like playing basketball just like any other kid. They like playing Guitar Hero, which we had back there today, just like any other kid. And, and it really makes, you know, this whole process real and human for everybody. We are new foster parents that are looking for a child to place in our home. And right now we also have a child in our home that's legally free that is looking for a home. And this seemed like a great place for him to meet potential families since it's not us and in a non-threatening, easy, fun environment. We get to see what they like to do when they're not feeling pressured like, oh, these people might adopt me or they might not and I need to be on my best behavior and I need to say what they want to hear and they're just being themselves, you know, beating or coloring or painting pumpkins. They're just doing what they want to do and we're just kind of there to be with them. Since last year's adoption fair, several Rotary Clubs in Washington and Oregon have expressed interest in doing their own party. At this year's event, there were observers from several clubs. So our president, President Rich, went to the district conference and he heard about this project on um, one of the talks. And he was so inspired that he came back to our, our lunch meeting and said, um, we're going to do this. We need some help. It's so inspiring that there are these foster kids in the system right now that um, don't have parents. And their parents gave up their rights to them, so they're eligible for adoption right now. It looks pretty straightforward. I mean, it's, it's nice because the Bellevue Breakfast Club did a lot of the legwork on, on the logistics of who we need to talk to and what we need to do. Um, the, the budget is pretty low. It's an event where we can host at one of the local high schools or local um, elementary schools in their gym. Um, there are a lot of fun projects and games that we can do, which people already have and love gathering on their own. And then we just get all the, the kids and the families together through DSHS. I think Rotary is a perfect fit for this type of event because we can deeply impact the community um, with not very many funds and the resources that we have in the club. With the people that we have, we can use our connections to gather all these resources together and organize. Um, and then if we look at the other side of it, if we look on the public side, they just don't have the manpower and the funds to put this event on. So this is an event that wouldn't happen without the Rotary.